Hey all, Rick Rex here, back with another one for you. And the devs just put out their live stream revealing some info about the new content. Now we're going to watch in with them and a lot of this is really unnecessary, but however I did want to keep most of it in for you so you guys can kind of take a look at it as they unveiled it. Now keep in mind that I'm going to be running most of this and bringing the content to you in depth so you can actually get a good feel for it and what it's going to be like. But first, if you like what you see and you want more, hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing and also to not miss one single update as they drop. Now since we've got that out of the way, let's go on ahead and take it away to the devs with a live stream in progress. Hello and welcome everyone to another DC Universe online live stream. My name is Meps and I'm here today to talk to you about our next episode, episode 44, The Sins of Black Adam. Don't worry, I'm not Yay. alone. <laughs> Don't, worry, I don't, know why Don't worry, I'm not alone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> join, joining me today, as you've noticed, we have Red5. Say hi, Red5. Oh, hi, everybody. Red5 is here representing the systems team today. Uh, we also have Writing Desk. Say hello, Writing Desk. Hello. Very excited. Representing the narrative and content team today, we have Jack Frost also. Say hi, Jack Frost. Hello, everybody. Representing content here today. Uh, we have Glitter. Say hi, Glitter. Everyone. Uh, Glitter is here representing everything art. <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> uh, anyway, and we have Palace Cat. Say hi, yeah. Palace Cat. Yay. Hi, Palace Cat. Palace Cat is your friendly neighborhood brand manager, and she will be grabbing your questions from Twitch chat throughout the stream. So if you have questions, make sure to drop them in there. She'll grab them. She'll let us know. And we'll try to answer some of those uh, as we go, if, if uh, appropriate, or at the end, if not. All right, so let's get on to the news. Uh, again, episode 44, The Sins of Black Adam, coming out October 26th on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. The switch date is to be determined, so stay tuned on that. And the episode is going to the public test server today uh, after this live stream, when this live stream is complete. So if you can join us and help us test, we would really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, Red 5 is currently in uh, in Kondok. And I'm gonna, infernal Kondok. In Infernal Kondok. And I'm going to toss it to Writing Desk to tell us a little bit about what this place is and, uh, and introduce us to Black Adam. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this story for a lot of reasons, but uh, I'll go over it real quick, high level. Um, so our Black Adam has tried to resurrect his wife, Isis. Um, they're both leaders of Kondok, the place that we're at now. And uh, previously he tried to make a deal with Felix Faust. And as you can imagine, making a deal with someone named Faust didn't turn out so great for Black Adam. Um, and then he tried to use a Lazarus pit, um, you know, the League of Assassins thing uh, that uh, Raish or Roz, if you prefer, <laughs> I guess, uh, Al Ghul um, uh, always uses to, uh, to come back to life. And as you can imagine, he didn't uh, appreciate his uh, his Lazarus pits being quote unquote misused. So that was that was a whole other you know um, kettle of fish to deal with. Uh, and both of those plans were thwarted. But this time, this time, Black Adam's got a simple foolproof plan. He's just basically going to walk into the underworld and pull Isis out himself. Uh, and so he has enlisted us, the players to help us in this task. And as you can imagine, it does actually go wrong uh, in its own way. Um, so when he gets to the underworld, he encounters um, DC's Lord of the Underworld, who's named Neron. Uh, and he's this really imposing figure, like really a, a, a Lucifer type figure, except, you know, Lucifer Morningstar is a little bit of a, of a layabout. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so Neron is kind of the, the person who's the intimidating, cruel trickster, uh, very powerful, very strong, and very manipulative. 
And so once we get to the underworld, Black Adam makes a very literal deal with the devil. Um, and so it ends up going badly for everyone in every which way. Black Adam trades Kondak uh, for Isis, and he only gets half of Isis, and he only gets the wrong half of Isis. Um, so because uh, the devil, Neron, uh, divides Isis up into her deadly and virtuous halves, and so we accidentally get the deadly half. And so not only is Kondok now infernal, but also uh, deadly Isis is kicking around. Uh, and so it's, it's a lot of extra things to have to fix. And one might say Black Adam made this whole mess so that we'd be kind of forced to clean it up for him. Uh, and that's what we do. That is what we do. It is called the sins of Black Adam for a reason, apparently causing so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but there's so many good things in this episode. Uh, Shazam is one of my favorite heroes, so I was excited to get to write something kind of within the shazam -ly. Um, <laughs> the Shazam uh, yes. The official exactly. name, by the way, that's like from DC. We have to call them the Shazam -ly. Yeah. That checks out. <laughs> Who's in the Shazam besides the Shazam? Yeah, well, there's a. The, the characters that we got representing are. We also got Mary Marvel. Or, sorry, she's just Mary now. Um, so we've got Mary. Uh, it would have been nice to get Freddy in there, but uh, he, he didn't quite make it. He would have been a good quest giver. Um, but one of the things that I am excited about is we've got Billy Batson, boy reporter, uh, who is a nice tribute to the 40s Superman radio serial. Uh, so he does some kind of announcing on the situation in Kondok and what's going on there. Uh, so there's, there's some cool uh, tributes to that. Um, and yeah, we also got some uh, Justice uh, JSA uh, members in there. So fans of the movie that are coming out, we got Hot Girl and uh, Dr. Fate and those folks. Awesome. And we have a couple of other characters that just show up in the episode as well, not in the Shazam Lee or the JSA, right? We have Black Alice coming in. Is that right? Yeah, she's she's a great, fun character. She's a real angsty teen um, who is upset that we are getting away with upsetting the natural order of things. You know, we do this thing where we go to the underworld and we take a soul out who should not really be out. Like, uh, Isis is rightfully, she had her time on this earth. And it's interesting because in that sense, it is more, we've had so many hero episodes uh, where, you know, we play the role of the hero and we have to set things right and set aside our differences for the greater good. And this one is almost kind of more of a villain episode because our goal is very much to do this thing that, you know, is it, not supposed to happen and um, and help, help a villainous slash anti-hero character. And so I think that's, that's real fun and a, a nice treat for players to kind of switch things up. And uh, Black Alice actually gets to step into this role of saying, hey, how come how come you guys get to, to try and pull someone out of the underworld and that's okay and I don't get to do it and I get I get a lecture when I try and do that. So it's it's it was a lot of fun to just um, uh, write more angry teenagers. Yeah, uh, when the adults. Right, <laughs> right on the heels of uh, Starfire and Blackfire. Right, right. Yeah, when the adults are ruining everything, teenagers step mm. in. Love it. Exactly, exactly. So she gives it her best. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to toss it over now to, as, as Red5 is uh, showing us this wonderful real estate, I'm going to toss the question over to Jack Frost to tell us about the content. Um, we have the open world. We have a solo. We have an alert and two raids. And do we have uh, all three versions going on? The event, normal, and elite? Is that right? That's right. Uh, there are elite modes for 
all of those pieces of content, which I, I think this might be our first solo elite mode and it's, uh, it's still being polished up. I'm not sure if the elite solo will be active on the test server immediately or if that's going to go online uh, a little bit later, but, um, but our plan is to have it for the release of the episode. Awesome. All three servers or all three uh, types of content. Awesome. All right. Um, Red five. Do you feel what like the... jumping into the solo, my good friend? No, it. do it. So if you don't want any further spoilers of what exactly happens in the episode, this is where, this is where you might want to say goodbye because we are going to play the solo, uh, which will reveal some things. That's kind of, kind of how things kick off, right? Um, and then we'll look at rewards after that and talk about the rest of the content. So uh, that's the stream that's coming up. Fair warning, everybody. Um, and once once Red Five is in, we will uh, take a look. Oh, that's a lot of skill points, my good friend. I hope you're playing the event. Uh, no, I did normal mode. I may have to cheat. I did not like spec this character out. I spec out his styles, but that was about as much time as I had. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> If I die on stream, it's going to be real embarrassing. Oh, hey, Black Adam. We lost your game sounds at some point. That's okay, all right. Chad, we'll just witness. <laughs> and, uh... yeah, we, yeah, we can't hear the game. I can actually hear it, but really? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think we might be hearing it in this side room that we're in. I'm, I'm like 100% going to have to cheat because this character is not actually specced out. All right, go ahead. That's fine. We won't judge you too much. I have unmuted your game sounds as you died. This so is what it looks cool. like every time I play. It's just, <laughs> another, just another Wednesday, guys. I thought I'd die in content. All right, all right. I mean, to be fair, you did go to the underworld and take on a whole bunch of bad guys by yourself. We I just all just enjoy the skeletons and how adorable they are. Out here. They are certainly adorable. <laughs> Jazzy did such a great job. That was her first NPC. Love it. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, writing desk, I know we just kind of did the intro, but can you just... Um, dial in uh, what we're doing here in the solo just real quick for everybody yeah this is uh actually one of the um solos that i was most excited to write because this is kind of a, a recap um so we were just in the open world and the open world has been taken over by neuron and this is basically billy batson recounting the events of how this happened um, so Black Adam has taken a shortcut through the Rock of Eternity. Uh, if you're a hero, he asked you for escort. And if you're a villain, he said, hey, sneak in with me. Um, and so it has brought us to the underworld. And there's Neron. Sorry, just absorbed by the cutscene. Uh, and super cool. And we get to fight the deadly enemies of man. And deadly enemies of man are very amusing to me because it's um, basically the seven deadly sins, but versions that, you know, uh, that pass the comics code. And so they, they did a few things where they made it more kid friendly. For example, instead of sloth, which they considered, oh, that's, that's too hard of a word for children to understand what sloth is. Uh, they called it laziness instead. And so I find that incredibly amusing that laziness is, uh, is an easier word than sloth. Um, and of course, you know, the comics code was, was very uh, res reserved about what sorts of content they could show. So they cut the deadly sin of lust and they replaced it with injustice. Um, and so I think I think it's very funny that uh, lust is technically not a sin or a deadly enemy, I suppose, in um, in the old uh, Shazam canon. And so oh. uh, so I honored that. 
Also, I should point out that if you're cheating like I am, you can just spam supercharges all day long. It's like the best way to play. <laughs> I'm just like watching you. I'm like, no, not the time capsule pile. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Very cool. All right, thank you for that. That summary that sets us up. Wow, Red Five is playing, and while we're watching, you call us playing cutscene. I feel like I have something to prove now. Like I have to stream my live character to show that I have a decent loadout, guys. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Earth. We'll do that. We'll he do really that later. Does. Uh, yeah, but so this is a solo. We've seen the open world. We also have an alert and two raids. Uh, without giving too much away, um, writing desk. I guess can you can you set us up for what happens in the alert or who we're gonna see in the alert? Yeah, so you know, once we once we fight through the deadly enemies, get to Neuron, um, we are in this situation where we're trying to win Kondok back from Neuron. <clears throat> and uh, Adam first sends us off on this thing that he's not quite sure what's going on. He's saying, "Hey, there's this there's these weird animal monsters and undead, and it's not connected to Neuron. I don't know what's going on. Check it out." Take Mary with you. Take um, uh, take Metamorpho with you. Go check out the God's Eye Pyramid. Um, so there's a bunch of mummies there. There's a bunch of animal-headed beasts, croc men, um, jackal-headed men, uh, and the bird men. And we find out that that spoilers that is where isis has been holed up the evil deadly isis cutscene happening Very cool. This Neuron guy looks real cool. I think he's gonna wreck you, man. Oh, yeah, he he's... doesn't have unlimited supercharges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna burn my way through hell. Is that okay? It's it's you it's the underworld. <laughs> I Be stand corrected. Before we move on to, to the raids, uh, Palace Cat, do we have any questions from the peanut gallery that we could answer mm -hmm. right now? Uh, not really. One person was asking about the release date, um, which is October 26th for everybody except for Switch. Um, Switch date is TBD, but uh, soon TM after the 26th of October. Perfect. All right. Cool. So then, uh, again, without spoiling too much, um, shall we move to, to the first raid? What's going on there? Oh, we do have a question. Oh. Who designed Neuron's concept art? That is a good question. Glitter? Oh, Neuron, I think, was concepted by um, one of our outsourcers. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't think she has a, <laughs> a handle, but... Yeah, we work with some really, really talented folks. Mm -hmm. internally and externally on concept art. Yeah, yeah and I, I did some Google searches in preparation for this. And <laughs> I did find that he looks very, very similar to the comics uh, version of Neuron. Pretty epic, majestic, evil sort of way. Yes, Jazzy worked very hard on his hair and his face. Yeah, there's a lot of different versions of Neuron, but there's this one cool detail that I wish I wish we could have captured, where he drinks out of a goblet that has uh, broken edges. So it's like this broken glass goblet uh, that he drinks some sort of red liquid out of. That would be super cool. We should get our internal concept artist to paint that up. <laughs> yeah, like a like a little. Uh, 
portrait or something where he's yeah. toasting the player. I mean, like, yeah, exactly. Good. Like <laughs> he had a painting done of him. <laughs> that seems like his style. Seems up his alley. Can't trust him. His eyes are mesmerizing. Look at that, guys. Most of the boss damage done. Red fire. <laughs> That's great. You did it, man. You did it. We did it. That was embarrassing. All right. Let's talk about the raids real quick. Uh, riding death. You set us up for the first raid. The, the first raid is us getting back into the underworld because it's difficult. Uh, the first time around, we came through the Rock of Eternity and it was kind of an easy trip, like so easy, we kind of yada yada over it. Uh, but the second time, Shazam has been away, the Shazamly has been away helping fight these things in Kondok, and opportunistic Felix Faust. Uh, has kind of taken up residence in in the Rock of Eternity and, because he's always after power and trinkets and anything he can get his grubby little hands on. And he teamed up with Black Alice. And uh, he thought he was kind of pulling a trick on Black Alice, but she actually pulled a trick on him. Uh, Black Alice has really neat powers in that she can basically steal anyone's powers. She doesn't have to be touching them or in the same room as them, like seeing them or anything. If they have powers, she can steal it. It's basically like um, directed dial H for hero, if that means anything for anyone. Uh, so so first we take out Felix Faust, which is uh, actually kind of a nice uh, thing for uh, Isis, who, you know, we, we met Isis in the alert and we convinced her to team up with us. Uh, and so Isis is like, oh, I'm going to get my revenge on that Felix Faust. Um, and then we have to fight Black Alice, who again can steal anyone's power. So it's, it's kind of this cool thing where we're fighting Black Alice, but we're also like fighting uh, the power of Shazam and the power of Dr. Fate. And you know she can channel some really strong magics against us so it's 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 a longer fight but um with phases but i think it is really well done and i've i've seen some of the the things that go down in that fight and yeah i'm really excited for that one very, uh, and then very cool. the second raid we're yeah. back in the underworld so that same map that we were just in but we keep going in through the underworld and i think that's really cool like we get some amount of progress towards our goal the first time around in the solo and then in the in the final raid we finish it these really nice bookends uh and so we make it all the way into neuron's throne room and we fight them there it's like just there's so many cool set pieces in there and the throne room is for sure one of them and the first one, he was kind of holding back. Uh, he wanted to make a deal and trick Black Adam. And the second one, he's furious that you know we we dare to 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 try and get out from under this trick that he has pulled on Black Adam and pulled on us. Uh, and so he unleashes more of the seven deadly enemies, um, and he really unleashes uh, his own power and fury in the final fight. That sounds awesome, and I can't wait to play it. Again? <laughs> <laughs> With the right specs and kit this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe fewer supercharges. Yeah. Just like a couple. Very cool. I, I wanted to interject it. I'm excited Black Alice is finally, or kind of getting her shine in the game. Originally, the uh, Clarion fight built, like, 12 years ago for Halloween was the Black Alice fight. And then um, we had some discussions and then it was determined we need to, we need to make this uh, a Clarion fight. So um, it, I'm, it's, it's been a long time coming that she's, she's in the game and, I, and I'm, 
I've, I've played the internal build and I'm, I'm uh, pretty excited about the, the, the way that fight's turning out. That is some epic trivia right there, my man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. I could definitely see how that was supposed to be a, uh, a Black Alice thing. There's a, there's a cool alliance that the, um, the designer who is making uh, the, the raid wrote for it, uh, which I wish I could take credit for, but not where um, Black Alice and Black Adam taunt each other about the names about their name <laughs> black great. adam says obviously you named yourself after me but uh, you're no longer allowed to do so uh and she says well, it's basically you know I'm, I'm the one with the better name you should change yours jerk adam oh wow <laughs> nice <laughs> that is peak insult comedy love it yeah yeah uh, and Shazam backs up Black Adam, so it's it's fun to you know have have that kind of ribbing and uh, see Shazam and Black Adam be kind of chummy, at least on the same side. Very cool. All right, if you're just joining us, we are looking at a preview of episode 44, Sins of Black Adam. The next episode coming to DCUO on October 26th for most platforms, Switch TVD. We've looked at uh, a bunch of the content and the characters so far. Now we're going to check out the rewards. So Red 5, I know you've been you've been waiting to show off your digs. Now's your chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the, um, this is the first gear suit. Uh, it's called the Sun God. Uh, Sun God's gear suit, and it's, uh, it's available on the vendor. Uh, it also randomly drops its purples in the normal... Uh, and elite content. Uh, uh, Glitter, do you want to talk a little bit about the look of this? Yeah, so um, we, our previous concept artist uh, worked on this and then um, it's really like bringing to life a lot of like the Egyptian theme and um, yeah, it was, it was really fun to work on. Um, I was actually the one who sculpted this, uh, but yeah, <laughs> it has like some really like cool silhouettes in it. Yeah, it's got a lot of like little details, like my boots got these faces on. Mm-hmm. Pretty sweet. Yes. Uh, next, we've got the normal gear suit based off of Neuron. Uh, this one is uh, on the vendor exclusively. Um, yeah. Excellent cape. cape. Love it. Nice silhouette. God, it's so stylish. Yeah, yeah. We just so, had you know, a really cool like style. To, we had to we had to take it and if you'd like to cosplay as the Lord of the Underworld, this is for you. And then this of course has a bling version. Uh and so uh just like normal, there are eight elite pieces on the vendor for you to get. Uh you gotta play the elite mode to get the reputation uh with the Shazam Elite to purchase these and put them on. But once you do, they have higher stats and they're real sparkly. I mean, just look at that. Ah. You are oh, shining. World energy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, so that's all the gear suits. Um, what's the best thing for me putting on my OP item? Let me take my hat off. Do you have the bling version of the Egyptian one? Oops. The what? what? No, we are not prepared with the blink version of the Egyptian one. Oh, uh, that would be nice. Like I would like to see that someday. You know, if only if only that would happen. Fingers crossed, right, guys? We saw. Okay, so uh, the OPI item, uh, just like the previous episodes, the OPI item, you can pick it up um, after completing the pointer mission. Uh, this time it's a headpiece. It's based off of Isis. Is uh, Isis is a uh, diadem. Uh, it's very regal, uh, and you'll you'll be leveling it up by collecting votive offerings, uh, Isis Eternal Penance, and Faustian Bargains. I think these are on the vendor um, to make it more powerful. Looking good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I have prepared. We also have a bunch of base items. Oh, uh, that's right. We made some awesome base items. Yes, well, that is the thing. Which is your favorite, Red Five? You seem very excited. Uh, definitely Neuron's throne. Like, um, I don't think we saw that in the, in the stream today. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, so the base items both drop. They have a chance to drop in content, but if you're impatient, you can go pick them up from Cheetah. Um, so those are very cool. We've also got new adaptive augments um, uh, for this episode. And there's, of course, like a low-level version and a high-level version for you to get. Um, and we have an artifact, the Heart of Isis. Do we not? We do. Oh my god, I didn't even get that. Put that in my. No, we don't need to show it. That's kind of a that's a stream all on its own. Uh, Probably. <laughs> it's a, it's, I think it's maybe our most complex artifact to date. It's super cool. <laughs> uh, a lot of like ones. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll uh, we'll talk about that in another time. We'll be on test later today. But it will be up there. Yeah, we definitely want your feedback on it. Um, when are we test server? Did you did you say test server maps? Yes, we will be on the test server when this live stream is over with, uh, or shortly after when this live stream is over with, with the whole episode for us to uh, get your feedback on. We need your feedback. October twenty sixth is fast approaching, so if you can jump in. Uh, let us know what you think. We would really appreciate it. We do have a question that's come up a couple of times. Um, will we have Isis's full style at all in the game? Um, no plans to have that at launch, but it sure is a great style. It would sure be awesome to see it in the game, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. At some point, that, that would be nice. <laughs> Any other questions um, that we can actually do you, answer? <laughs> do you know if they're asking about the new Isis style, uh, the the virtuous Isis, or the the uh, zombie slash deadly Isis? Um, no, not really. Um, a lot of chat about some of the some topics that don't really pertain at all to what we're talking about. Um, that's mostly what people are talking about, unfortunately. But um, if anybody does have any questions about this DLC, about any of the rewards, about the storyline, about the NPCs, we are so happy to answer those. Uh, people are asking to see the female version. I did not prepare a female. I didn't even. Guys, I didn't even have time to set my load out today. It's been a day. But yeah, which really I, cool. I wish I could very single tune. Uh, base ops, I could probably see those pretty quickly. While we're waiting, I'll uh, I'll warp over to the House of Legends and we can get those base items up. That sounds like um, fun. Almighty Dareth asks, "Will there be new base items?" Uh, the answer is yes. Um, yeah, I think y'all can speak a little more to that than I can, probably. Yeah, we're gonna check some of those out. Check them out. One of the things, though, going back to ISIS, that I am pretty excited about this episode is that traditionally ISIS has been kind of this goal for Black Adam to like, achieve or strive for and then never actually reach. And I'm really excited in this episode that she gets to be more of an active character in that she's, um, we get to fight her as the deadly version and then kind of win her over to our side and she fights uh, deadly Isis fights alongside of us uh, for some of it to get her revenge against um, against Felix Faust and against Neron. So she gets to she's been a wronged party in in this technically, uh, and so she gets to also join along and have her revenge. Um, and it feels like you know there's there's a lot of cool power couples in the DC universe. And this is a real moment where I think a power couple who doesn't normally get time to shine uh, really shines well. And I think they they might be my favorite couple in the game now. Uh, you know, we've got uh, Aquaman and Mera who very much love each other and will not stop talking about it. Uh, but there's there's clearly a lot of uh, love and respect between uh, Adam and Isis. And that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so base items, there are some that are on there for uh, lots of money for people who want to uh, sort of showcase their wealth. It's a, um, it's like an upper, you know, you know, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a flex. If you'd like to flex, because the base items on there for you to flex with that are just pure treasure piles. We've also got some that you get for collections. You can purchase them here as well. My favorite is, of course, Neuron's Throne. So, uh, but just a lot of really great things in the episode. Uh, our artists, of course, do awesome stuff. 
some of these things, which you'll see later. It's fun whenever I see these out of context first, because I'm like, oh, how's that going to be used in the episode? These vessels. Uh, so we have some questions about the open world. Um, do we have open world bounties planned for Condoc? And are there any other open world activities that people can look forward to? Uh, yes, there is a weekly mission to uh, tackle injustice in the open world, um, who is kind of uh, one of the uh, seven deadly sins that Reading Desk talked about earlier. Um, and uh, we're, we have some stuff planned for after re the release of the episode as well, but I can't really get into that yet. Um, but uh, And then there are uh, a number of daily missions and I think another weekly mission as well. Nice. Um, we also have a question. Are Black Adam and Isis voiced by the same voice actors that we had for the old quest line with Faust, or have they changed? Uh, that's a good question. They're the same voice actors. Uh, it's always fun to uh, keep keep the folks that uh, we have consistently. And um, yeah, their, their voices are really gorgeous. I'm for sure a big fan. Yeah, I got to sit in on some of the voice recording sessions and one, everybody is super talented on our voice cast, but two, it's really fun to watch voice actors work because you don't realize how much of their like body and their they how much they kind of act out what they're doing and what they're saying. Um, so we have some really cool footage that we're hoping to share on social media of a few of our actors in the booth actually performing and recording voiceover. Also, a special shout out to our audio uh, expert, uh, whose forum name I'm, I forget right now, but yay, he, he is instrumental in um, getting the, uh, the actors, to, or helping the actors to, to get their best performance. Mm -hmm. He is very instrumental. I saw some people asking about styles that have not been announced that I just I don't know anything about. You guys are asking about these things. They sound cool. I would love to see that in game. But you know, I sure haven't seen any announcements about that. So yeah. Hmm. Some good ideas. Some good ideas here in the chat. Uh, Real Roger Black asks, uh, are there tie-ins to the movie? Um, there are not specific tie-ins to the movie, but I highly recommend exploring kind of all of the outer reaches of all of the maps, and you might find a little Easter egg um, mm. in relating to the movie in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. 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 Also, go check out the quest covers. Go, go... Go look them over. Red five. Yeah, oh, yeah. Quest givers? I saw them earlier, but we can go back in there. Yeah. They're cool quest givers, so we can uh, we can chat them up a bit. Of course, this guy here. I'm like, hey, hey, where are my daily rewards? He's huh? the best. Yeah. <laughs> so fun, Thank fun you. story. We actually recorded Doctor Fate's line lines in the previous episode. Um, and it was like just just barely announced that Dr. Fate was going to be in the Black Adam movie. And we were like, oh, shoot, shoot, right. Real quick, write some Dr. Fate lines so that he can be there for sure. Um, and so it's a scramble, but we got it. And I'm so I'm so excited that he shows up because, uh, yeah, the actor is one of my favorites. <laughs> I mean, Mary Marvels, or Mary should, Mary, just Mary, just Mary, just Mary. <laughs> is new to the game, right? You know, there's something about her. She is new. Yes, there is something about her. <laughs> just got that. Of course, Hot Girl, still looking awesome from her refresh. Mm -hmm. uh, and these, these guys, yeah. Just a couple dudes. This is all about me and my main man, Black Adam. Uh, Red Five, do you have Black Alice's NPC ID? It was at the bottom of that list I sent a bit. I don't know if you have that with you, though. I think it'd be cool uh, to show her. I, I she's, have the tools open. She's new, like Mary. If I summon her in here, she might just start wrecking stuff. Is that fine? That's fine. Let her have her moment. <laughs> yeah, whatever she's going to do, she's going to do it. All right. Well, here's hoping. Let's, let's pull her out over here. Aha! Oops. Oh, 
Yeah, she sees me. I should have. Maybe, maybe toggle your hate real quick. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no hate. No hate, <laughs> Black Alice. No I'm hate, Black here. Alice. No. No one. Black Alice. Ooh. Is that a wand? Um, she gets angry. Is it? Is it? That's, hmm. I don't know about that one. Yeah, but she's real cool. Yeah. I used to wear fishnets a lot like her. Oh, neat. That's cool. Back in my teenage Nine Inch Nails fan days. Yeah, she just got back from, uh, what is, what is the name of the big festival? Burning Man? Burning Man, yeah, maybe. No, no I'm like getting much more Man. of a, a vibe of the craft. I'm. She's living out my late '90s witch dreams, honestly. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, for those of us here on the stream who create and think of emblems, we have people asking if we're going to get a Black Adam emblem at any point. And also, they mentioned they really like Mary's style, so that's something for y'all to keep in mind. Noted. Someone taking someone taking notes. Yeah, we got it. Cool. We got it. Yeah, yeah. It's very it's very similar to the time capsule. Um, like Eternal is it Magic's Champion? Hmm. Uh, the Shazam style, but she's made her own. Like she's made it her own. So. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. So a fun story about the Shazamly from the original comic books is that. Oh boy. So originally the Shazamly was kind of this group of people who were also named Billy Batson, who happened to also get Shazam powers because the wizard said, I give you Billy Batson the powers of Shazam and magic work in the way it does. He gave everyone who happened to be named Billy Batson the powers of Shazam. And so they formed this group called the Billy Club. Uh, and they would team up uh, to to take on even bigger problems. And over time, that the Billy Club eventually mutated into the Shazamly. So just it's wild lore in the original cop. Just very goofy top to bottom. Uh, we do have a question. Will the new artifact, like what role is that going to be for? God, I was afraid you guys were going to ask questions about that. <laughs> It's it's for all roles. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm we're gonna not talk about it here because it's just it's too much. Um, but we will be on the forums and we will be on the test server uh, after this to to get into the artifact. And if that's the last questions, I think we are going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for joining us mm. to see episode forty four is preview the sins of Black Adam. Uh, coming your way to the test server today uh, after the stream is over and headed to the live servers uh, on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on October 26th. So coming up. And then the Switch launch yeah. date will be TBD, hopefully very soon after that. Uh, Red 5, Pals Cat, Glitter, Jack Frost, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us, Matt. Yeah. Writing desk also. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't Wait, think. No maps. I, I couldn't think of the name. I'm sorry. Uh, writing desk. A, a delight. A delight as always. And all of you out there, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will catch you next time on the flip side. Later. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 All right, and that wraps up the dev live stream. Once again, wanted to get this out. A lot of it was unnecessary, but to those of you that hadn't seen it, wanted to let you have the opportunity to be able to watch what the devs wanted to put out. And again, I will come to you with individual content so you can see exactly what it's going to look like and what it's really going to be like to take it out for a test drive yourself. Thanks again, guys. And once again, if you like what you see and you want more, Hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing and also to not miss one single update as they drop. And I'll see you next time.